And now for the last look. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, CNN will launch a new show called The Whole Story with Anderson Cooper. In its first installment, correspondent Nick Payton Walsh travels through the Darien Gap. It is one of the world's most dangerous migration routes used by people trying to get to the United States from South America. This part of the journey takes them from Colombia into Panama. The crisis there has gotten so dire that just this week, those two countries joined with the U.S. to launch a campaign cracking down on transit through this lawless jungle. In this clip, we come to understand the sheer volume of people willing to make this difficult trek. Nearly 90,000 people in the first three months of this year alone. The stories here are many, but there is only one goal, America. And the dream is just that, a reverie of hope, of conviction that they will be the ones to make it over danger, disease, dehydration, deportation. About this number, every day, every year, almost doubling. The Darien Gap is the only land corridor from South America where entry is easier to its north where it's not. There are no roads, only 66 miles of treacherous jungle from Colombia to Panama and onwards north, 3,000 miles to the US border. We walked the entire route of the Darien Gap over five days in February to document the suffering endured by people, milked for cash by cartels, unwanted by any country. What's startling is the sheer number of children on this trek as it begins on a route sometimes adults don't even survive. And CNN's chief international security correspondent, Nick Payton Walsh, joins me now. Nick, welcome. It's a, it's a fascinating documentary, and it, it seems to illustrate a point a, a friend of mine always said that Donald Trump uh, uh, didn't understand which border the, the wall needed to be built on. It was not Mexico's northern border with the United States. It was Mexico's southern border with Central America, because that's where all the migrants are coming from. Um, are the countries of Central America trying to do something to stop this flow? Uh, is the U.S. asking them to? What's going on on that front? Yeah, I mean, there's U.S. pressure to try and stop this flow of migrants, but it's not really in the interests of any of the countries, frankly, before Mexico or even before the U.S. border with Mexico to really get in the way of this flow of people. The numbers are just staggering. They could easily, possibly, at the same rate, breach a million this year. And so any country that chooses along that route to say, all right, we're going to stop the migrants here, if indeed they can, is then going to be left with hundreds of thousands, likely, every year of migrants who just stay in their particular country, hoping perhaps for circumstances to change. Uh, you also show how this is a big business. I mean, these cartels are big and sophisticated, and you, are, you did this with the permission of a cartel, uh, embedded as it were. Why did the cartel let you do it? We don't know the full answer. My guess is possibly that uh, this is something they perhaps wanted to parade that they wanted people to see that this journey could be done, that to some degree the Colombian side of it where the cartels function was quite organized and fair to say it certainly was. There were porters taking people up towards the border. A kind of marketing strategy, Nick. Yeah, indeed, possibly, although obviously our role was to be sure we documented the suffering of people on that who are really being used by a cartel. The dreams that bring them to use that cartel quote-unquote service, uh, uh, legitimate wholesome needs to make a better life for their family. The cartel sees upon that, often sell them a rosy inaccurate picture of how easy or fast this trek will be, help them on their way initially, take a lot of money off them and every opportunity they possibly can, like a four or five dollar Gatorade up a mountain. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to get it up there, but that's a lot of money for a lot of these migrants. And then in Panama, it's onwards and off you go, Farid. Thanks, Nick. The Whole Story with Anderson Cooper premieres tonight, April 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Make sure to catch this one. And thanks to all of you for being part of my program this week. I will see you next week.